Where do you think Kyle and Mo go from here? I don't think that, I don't think there's a way back. From what I see and from what I hear and from what I'm seeing, I think it's over. Sadly, I think it's over. They have a lot of assets. So I think that they are, they're together under the same roof, not, they're separated. I, I don't know if they're gonna get a divorce or not because there's a lot of logistics that go along with the divorce. It just seems messy. Him but they're also hands. dance partners together. Yeah, okay. This is after, we're not in the dance studio. Okay. There's no cameras okay. other than whoever snapped them. I can hold hands with a married man. No. No. In Augusta, all my friends that are like my best friends, my, some of those guys I've known since I was three years old. But I guess she, um, yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, I feel for the family. I do too. I, I can't yeah. imagine it's easy on the girls, you mm -hmm. know? And it's so public, and I know. It just, it's so hard to keep seeing stories over and over and over about our life, our marriage, my life, him. Um, just constantly seeing it, you know, online and like being scrutinized lies it's so maddening it can yes. make you crazy so yes that's why you know i was telling you earlier i deleted you know all social media and i would you know because i can't look it's like even if i look to look at memes that make me laugh like when i'm laying in bed at night and i like to look at memes that make me laugh yeah and i'm like i don't want to see a story about me or mo or or you know it just makes me sad and and, and frustrated with things that aren't true and you know and you can well, never correct those people. You know, you can, you can. people getting joy out of it too. Oh yeah. And I, I just stay to myself, <laughs> you know, keeping it together over here. Trying. Yeah. I get you it. Know. I really do. I get it. So when you separate and when you, you know, that itself, you just don't all of a sudden, well, thanks very much and give yourself a handshake and walk out. Like that's not, you know, there's a, a whole lot. lifetime and a lot of things that go on to, Coming apart, how, whatever the future holds for you. I don't want to, you know, tell you your future, but when you come apart, it's not just like a thanks so much and let me grab my and you get the out of the house. It's like you're talking about four children. Ad I don't care if they're adults or not; they're still kids in your, you know, inside yeah, the, my in, in the family. Right. There's and the two of you who've built this incredible life together. It's not just well, like you said, let's just call it quits and you know forget it. It's no, not that simple. There's obviously a lot of you know things that led to that and, you know, a lot of thought, you know, going into that. And by the way, there still is. That's why we are. And thankfully, you know, we, we get along and we're still under the same roof. It's not, you know, always easy every day, but. No, I'm sure. You know, nothing You have to do is. what's right for you. And mm -hmm. that's the only thing that I wish people would cut you a break is that it's your marriage, it's your life and whatever you choose to do with it, it really doesn't involve anybody else. Everybody can say what they want, but you need to do what's right for you. And I always thought I knew what my future looked like, and now I'm not. It feels scary. Same. But I know that I, at least I have my girls make me feel really supported. So and that's all you really need. Home. You'll be all right. <sighs> we have a family meeting. Can you share with us what happened in the family meeting? Well, after that article came out, um, I really had to have a conversation with my daughters. Sure. Well, Mo and I had a conversation with our daughters. <laughs> we wanted to clear anything up for you if you guys are worried or have questions or anything. Um, so, you know, I do want you guys to know it. We haven't talked about a divorce. Just so you guys know that. I just wanted them to know that, like, we are a family no matter what. And I do believe that regardless of what happens with Mauricio and my marriage, that we will be a family no matter what. 100%. We're such a solid, strong family regardless of the issues that have happened in our marriage. And to me, that was, you know, the most important thing was to convey that to them. I know those girls. You love those, those girls very much, and they love you. And it's so nice to see them support you. You know, Sorry. no, you should be upset. It's, it's your life, sweetheart. It's fine. I mean, it's it's heavy. It's very heavy. Do you want some tissues? Here, I'm in the box. Here goes, sweetheart. Great. great. Oh, oh, it's God, okay. We're gonna end this laughing. We are. No, you're this. You know. Right. Just yeah.
It sucks. I don't. I don't know. Listen, I know it's never easy for anybody, you know, no. to go through this. I've, I've heard, you know, you know, friends shared stories. You know, I'm not. I just. For me, it was always my biggest accomplishment. It still is. It's a long, loving marriage, honey. Please don't. Please remember that. You have a beautiful family. It's a beautiful. You have a beautiful. This is my life. <laughs> it, I know. I know. But you know, look, you have a successful marriage. It's a very successful marriage. However, it goes. You didn't let anybody down. You really didn't. You really didn't. I just think, you know, um, I have to say that my daughters are just so unbelievable. Yeah. Like, you know, I've always been so close to them. We're always, you know, tight family, but like even going through this with them, they've been so unbelievable. And they're so like, they have so much They have a lot of poise. Yeah, they're and very they're poised, so these girls. They're supportive and loving and like, Strong, and that gives me a lot of strength. Well, you raised them to be that way. I need to, now it's my turn to lean on them. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You know? Yeah. You'll be all right. Erica, what was it like performing at the white party? Well, I went from Broadway to SoFi. <laughs> you just didn't miss one. Beat. She killed it. The performance was awesome. It felt like a comeback. To see her kill it was a truly incredible thing to watch. She was nearly as good as I was in that stage in Spain. What are you saying? What on earth? <laughs> In my mind, I thought, she's back. And I just got really emotional. I just got super, like, choked up. Thanks. I have to thank you again for giving me that opportunity because, you know, when you go through things in life, and you think, what am I doing? I think you don't have the compassion because you don't want the compassion to seem like you're guilty. I'm not guilty. All I think about are victims. I don't give a about anybody else but me. And then, no, this is what I'm meant here to do. And it felt so good. Well, thank you for making my party because everybody was talking about that. It was yeah. fun. I, you know, watched her go through this whole, whole struggle thing. with, yeah. you know, the lawsuits and with Tom and, you know, as your friend, I was yeah. worried like, what am I gonna do? What will she do moving forward? Like, you know, obviously as her friend, I, I thought about that, I worried about that. And I was just like, I'm not worried about you. <laughs> Thanks. I just wanted to see all of us when we're in our elements. So that was so fun to see That was her a great like that. night. That was yeah. a really fun night. Like at the end of the day, we do actually love each other because we don't want anybody to hurt. Right, right. Because we're like family. We can talk about each other. He's going to put on this stupid parade of a pot show and we'll just all sit here and watch it. They can be such dickheads. <laughs> but you can't But you can't. It. Stay away. Yeah. Have you seen Erica perform in Vegas? No, I was hoping to see, <laughs> I hate you. No, I'm hoping when I'm in Vegas, I will see her for sure. Me too, Garcelle. Well, I'm so busy in Vegas. <laughs> you know, the last, I guess, two, three years have really been a huge growth moment, but they've been scary, which is why I just tell you, like, you gotta just make yourself happy. Like, <laughs> if there's one thing that I've learned the last three years is, my God, live your life. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing.